food, get, get that pan through and get rid of it, and then uh, I can set the right mix of food in it once. Yeah. And then that should be more or less ready for frying. The engine just not fall out this way. It's now coated in mock, and then I use the foxy instead of the um, like wood boots. Right, I've got it now. Hang, oh, hang on, right, I've got it now. There's the turn. Initiate with the wings. So it does work. This concept does work. Does it need it? Probably not. But it's nice to see that it's worked for the blow. Okay. Bring you to the land. <laughs> Dick Lindsay, what a man! He thought it up and it worked. Okay, so I flew it most of the time like that, but I flew it on this setting. As well and it'll turn it'll, it, it worked quite effectively that's on the lowest amount of throw people were quite skeptical and thought it would need loads well that's the maximum I needed there really impressed it works there you go <laughs> happy days happy days well there you go folks that's the end of the flying session for today 
uh, as a poor script. Um, I've managed to maiden the ESW28 glider. Um, really impressed with that. I'm going to have lots of fun with that in the summer. And of course, I've maidened the rudder bug. I had about four flights with it. Um, I activated the wings uh, on each flight. Will I use it continually? I don't think so. It doesn't need it. It's primarily a three channel model. However, that being said, a big thumbs up to Dick. The proof of concept worked uh, and I feel that I had to try it, even if I never use it again. Um, but lovely model, lovely model. Uh, my friend Roy tried his best to video it. I'll see what I can get and what we can put together. But until then, folks, uh, if you can get out flying, do so. If you can't, let's all get creative.